Hey Dad, hey Arlene. All right, the video today is coming from the car. We are currently in Alabama. Chip is gonna correct me if I'm wrong. And we are crossing over soon into Mississippi. And then we will be going to Henderson. Our des final destination is Chickasaw State Park in Henderson, Tennessee. And Madden, will pick Madden up tomorrow morning. He wants us to be there. He said 4 a.m. I don't think he's ever been awake. Well, I'm sure he's been awake at 4 a.m., but it's probably because he's just never gone to bed. But he wants us to pick him up, pick him up very early uh, tomorrow morning. And um, I don't know if we keep waking up around 2.30 every morning, that shouldn't be a problem. But sooner or later, uh, I'm gonna need my sleep. And so today, uh, <laughs> Well, let me tell you my story about last night. Last night, we did go to sleep. We're just entering that REM sleep. It's 9.30 at night, and I hear this boom, and I feel like something has fallen on, like, I, it's a sound of something falling. And I wake Chip up, and I'm like, did you hear that? And he's like, yeah, <laughs> what was it? And you know, it wasn't the air conditioner turning off. That's not what it was. I knew that even though it makes a definite noise. This was something that startled me and I woke up and I really felt like something fell on top of us. So Chip has to pull on some shorts and a t-shirt, go outside. He doesn't see anything. We're not under anything, even though we had shade from the trees where we were. There wasn't anything that really could have fallen on top of us. He didn't see anything. So we got it back to bed and that took me a while to get back to sleep because my brain was just going like, what could it have been? I know it was something. And uh, of course, like at 2.30 in the morning when I woke up, I went in to use the restroom and I saw that I had hung up uh, this organizer, um, we know where you hang it over the back of the door and you can put, people use it on the inside of their closet to a lot of people use it for diaper stuff where they'll put the diapers the wet wipes it kind of hangs down and it has these nice shelves but it's all cloth and the cloth is reinforced by some cardboard so I had hung that up on the inside of our shower because we really don't use our shower and I had used these sticky um, hooks and they're they're a pressure hook too where you put them down that but they were plastic I got them at the dollar store and I saw that it had fallen down so it's not like it fell far but it was that weight hitting the bottom of the shower door and uh, I went back to bed and said well I solved that I solved the mystery of that noise so nothing got hurt nothing got broken but we had to come up with another a way to hold that shelf up because it's a very handy shelf. Anyway, that was that mystery. We're on the road. Halfway here, we decided, hey, let's see how every how much everything weighs. Our um, truck can pull 27,000 pounds, right, sweetie? And uh, I knew we were under, but I just wanted to make sure. And so we went to a Love's stop and did the CAT scale for everything. So we got a total weight at, it's 17,000 or almost 18, right, sweetie, when you add us in. So it's at 18,000, so I feel more comfortable. We're not putting extra work on the, uh, the truck, you know, to pull the scout. And uh, we've had a good day of driving. Again, day number two where Chip actually pulled in with the RV attached and filled up with gas. So uh, yay, Chip, it is a really good day. And I'm looking forward to being at a location for a couple of days that has full hookups, showers. Mama needs a shower. I definitely need a shower, wash my hair and uh, it should be a good day. Well, that's it for today. I will definitely talk to you tomorrow. Maybe Madden will be in uh, that movie. I'm not sure, but love you guys. Love both of you guys. We're being really safe here. Chip's driving with one hand on the steering wheel, so he's getting nice and secure in this. <laughs> and we're passing semis. <laughs> Bye.